What defines your leadership style and how would you like to evolve it? Alcoholics Anonymous um, defines my leadership style in terms of wanting to build uh, a f very flat, flat organization where everybody feels like a leader. Um, I think AA, and from a personal development standpoint, is transforming more lives than any other personal development organization out there uh, today. Um, when you look at the personal development industry, it's usually this guru standing on stage speaking to the masses, and AA just flips that entire model on its head. It's more sustainable, I think it's more empowering, and it leads to uh, more long-term results than the traditional models of personal development. And so that's where the 30-day do-it movement comes in. You have a group of people who care about you, right? And, um, and you step into that group and you set a goal. But when you set the goal, you also create a cost. So that cost may be, I'm gonna give everybody in this group $50 if I don't accomplish this goal. I'm gonna wash everybody's car with a toothbrush if I don't <laughs> accomplish this goal. Whatever it is that's gonna be embarrassing um, but bearable, right? And so when you create that cost, the likelihood of you achieving your goal increases and now you have people who care about you holding you accountable. How have you applied the Alcoholics Anonymous model to help others plan careers? One notion that I have is that personal development isn't personal, right? And it's, uh, we have this idea of personal development being I get this book, I read it, go in the corner of a room, I read it, then I'm transformed. But then if the world around you doesn't change, then your likelihood of regressing is a lot easier. And when you have a, a powerful group of people um, moving forward together, I think that you just have uh, better outcomes rather than people trying to do it on their own. Again, with the personal development industry, you go to this conference um, and then you meet all these great people there, but then you fly back to home or you go back to your own world and you step into your family, your work environment, and nobody knows the language and things that you're talking about, and therefore uh, it's, so much, it's so easy to go backwards. And yeah. so when you have a group of people who is there to support you and understands the language that you're talking and understands the systems and processes uh, that are behind you, I think that that's where you actually can have the most powerful results. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Um, the next thing on the plate for me is uh, actually something called the Career Change Challenge. Uh -huh. And it's going to be a 70-day teleseminar where groups of people are being guided through a process to change their careers. And so, again, um, again, it's groups, not individuals. Because I just feel like I can have more impact by empowering groups of people than I can by empowering one person. Now, every life is equally valuable, but I think that there's a collective wisdom that you tap into when you are actually moving in a group. And so